Hello, in today's video I want to show you how you can get design tokens from your GitHub repo directly to Airtable. And this, this means that we will get all the values directly synced to Airtable and also automatically grouped by component. And how to do that? Let's go to step one. If you're not familiar how to create GitHub repository, let's start here. So first we need to click, I mean, first you need a GitHub account, but then we will click on new and we will give it a name. So let's say Airtable sync. And we can also add a description. We will sync GitHub repo to Airtable. And we will of course say that this is our private repo add a readme file because if you will sync from token studio you need this one and that's it the github repo is created okay first step is done now you can go to figma you can open token studio plugin and sync all your design tokens from there or you can just copy paste and upload your json file to this repository i will go to figma Okay, we are back in Figma and now we want to sync all these design tokens to our new repository. Right now I'm using Airflow repository name, but we will click here add the new sync provider and we want to use the GitHub repository we choose and because we added Airtable sync, we also need a new personal access token which will connect our token studio and Figma and github repository okay let's go to the github for creating a personal access token we need to click on our profile name then we go to settings on the left side we will click on developer settings and now we will click on personal access token and fine grade tokens and now just generate new token and let's add the name Airtable sync you can add a description if you want and you can also decide for expiration and of course it's more secure if you don't add forever so let's just keep it for 30 days and we will only select our repository so only select repository and we will click on Airtable sync okay this is done and for permissions we need to go to the contents and we will add the permission to read and write that means that we can push our design tokens from Figma and also get them back. So pull them back from GitHub repository if our developers will change something. Okay, and then we're done. We just click on generate token. We have an overview what we created and we will need this number. Okay, so now we need to go back to Figma and add this. So you copied the number personal access token, we paste it here. Now repository owner slash repo. So I have the owner name like this and our repository is Airtable sync. Branch, if it's not something else, you just write main. And for the token storage location, it's recommended that you use tokens. And that's it. You just save. And because we already have some design tokens open, we can already push them. So let's try first push. Okay, push changes. And we will go back to the GitHub and check if everything works fine. Here everything sync and we see the tokens here. Okay, let's go to the GitHub and check if we also see the tokens there. As you can see, the folder was created, tokens. And we see modes, so light and dark should be here. Okay, everything works. JSON file is here. And we edit first push. Okay. And core design tokens are here. Okay. Now we have everything that we need to sync to Airtable. And let's go to the Airtable first. Okay, for Airtable, you can create three tables. So components core tokens and semantic design tokens. Components is completely up to you. I like to use it because I can have an overview of what we're doing and I usually also paste Figma link to this direct component or pattern and you can also paste the link to your docs and you can have an overview what's going on. So is it in design phase, website, mobile, any other platform and then all the rest is completely up to you. 
but what we're going to do is automatically sync core tokens and semantic design tokens it's important that you use the same name so that this is token name then light value name light value dark value name dark value and then component if you want to change these names of the columns you can absolutely do that but you you have to instruct then cursor to change and also change the script because right now script is connected so that json file knows exactly which values are mapped with which column so now that we have the table we need to go to cursor and sync our values from github repository to the cursor okay let's do it when we are back in cursor first thing we need to clone our github repo to the cursor so that means that we will easily edit everything that's going on so how to do that we have to click show and run com comments and git clone clone from github and what's our repository name well the first one airtable sync we just click on that one and we will decide where to put it so i have a table here we will add a new folder and call it airtable sync select as repository destination and now everything will be cloned would you like to open the cloned repository yes open do you want to save your workspace save. okay okay as you can see everything is clean right now and we have the files that we saw before on github repo also copied here modes dark and light and also metadata themes and core json file okay so now we will have to instruct cursor what we want to do and what we want to achieve the issue is that of course i'm using different credentials that you will use in your own repository and we need airtable api key and your base id so that means this is the number of your table and Airtable API is what you will get on Airtable developer settings. And we need to add these credentials to our GitHub repository. And we call that environment variables. One option would be that we save all these credentials to a file and put them on GitHub repo, but this is not very safe. I wouldn't recommend that. So we need to go back to GitHub and add these environment variables and we will come back to cursor and instruct to change based on what we added there on this address airtable.com create tokens new so or if you click on your profile builder hub and you click personal access tokens you can create a new token and we will call it airtable git airtable sync so we will know exactly what is going on and what we need to add is scope so first one is that records read so the github will know exactly what we have in airtable then write and we also need to add schema basis read we also need to select a base so we add base airtable sync we have it here and now we can create token so this is our token it always starts with p we copy it and now we will go to github and add it here so on github when you are in your repo airtable sync you will click on settings and you will click on actions and then new repository secret okay we copy our token here and we need to call this airtable api key okay we we'll do this at secret and of course this is not safe that i'm showing you this personal access token but this is just for the teaching purposes we will delete this later on and then we need to add also the number of our base so we click new repository secret again and the name is airtable base id i copy this before here so we know um, so i don't have to type but base id is the number of our air table so let me just open it when we open air table the number starts with app so this is the number okay we copy this number and we just add it here to the secret add secret and now we're done okay we added airtable api key base id to our github and now i instructed cursor to refactor and use environment variables 
Now all the scripts were changed and we can run the script and interact with our new base. So we will just values and we will go to Airtable and see what happens. Okay, as we can see, it created 10 records in batches. It pushes our design tokens to the Airtable, but let's check what happened on Airtable. When you have a first sync, as you can see, everything can look a little messy because it added light theme and a lot of details that we don't need because this was just the first try if everything works and then he's adding a lot of stuff and you know this is already completely different and if we scroll down we see that this is already better and if we go down 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 it's now the proper way so we have a button and then light value is still weird it's copying wrong hex codes so now we have to go back to cursor and we have to add some instructions so it can clean up and also don't be afraid to ask for more because this is not good that we have 1000 values here we want to clean up the duplicated tokens we want to clean up the empty rows etc so now we will instruct cursor to do that so the most typical mistake if something like this happens is that cursor is not taking the proper values as you can see you have modes and you have dark and light in in this folder and core json file is in another folder so in tokens and this means that sometimes it doesn't react and connect that light semantic design tokens are actually taking the values from here so if it's green one that this is the hex code and that's why it's syncing wrong values and it's mapping different stuff and if it happens just instruct please check the structure again and take all the hex values from core json and then it should work okay it works as you can see we got the token names we have the light value names and also the proper hex code and we have 117 design tokens but as i mentioned in the start i also want to have this button as a special column so later on i can group them and view them separately because it's quite hard to navigate this so let's go back to cursor okay back in cursor i will just paste the prompt I wrote before. So add a new column called component to this air table and for each row extract the first part of the token name, everything before the first dot. So and insert it to the component column. Okay, let's just press enter and it will start generating. And to accomplish this, okay, I will add the logic to the sync script, add a component. You will need to manually add a component column okay makes sense so now i will just add a new field on my air table all create field okay i accept this and i already added a new column component 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 great since you've already added the component column and the script is updated you're ready to sync would you like me to run yes run the sync is complete your air table now has a component called okay you should now see the proper component so now let's go to air table and check what happened there okay it works so we have sidebar text sidebar we have sidebar link active sidebar toggle it's toggle but as you can see we have too many design tokens so we also have the ones that we synced before and we need to get rid of them we will go back to cursor and ask to delete them but first i just want to show you what you can do right now so this component column is added as a single line text which works great but of course we want to change this to single select which means that every component name will be automatically color coded and now i'll just click save and we can see this component right now in colors and if you click group by component you will immediately see how everything's connected but the weird part is that icon success icon error are seen as a different component because we said that take the name before the first dot 
and we will also instruct cursor to change this so if it's icon just use icon not anything that's after i wrote the prompt update the component name for icons instead of using icon error always use just the first word for the component and delete the duplicated design tokens and clean up the file so now it should do this for us and just update the script so update the component name delete duplicated and clean up the file okay now it's updating the script okay this step was successful and let's check what happened there okay all the additional design tokens were deleted and as you can see we have just batch like text etc so it works i had to change component field back to single line text but now we can change it back to the single select to have the colored options and yeah it works also for the background and also for border so it's cool okay and now a cool feature from Airtable. If you want to see the colors and actually check if everything's okay, you can click on extensions and you will see the color palette. If you don't have it, just click add an extension, find color palette and it will be automatically added here. And the cool thing is that if you click on full screen, you can see everything in a bigger way and you can just copy paste. For example, you can copy on hex code or HSL, RGB, it's really easy to use and you know immediately if you are copying the right color okay if you want to play more and you if you want to share the values also for with people that are not designers and don't spend time in figma or github you can click on interfaces and create a new view so right now i have token name light value name light value but now i also want to add dark value name and dark value and now if i publish this view i will publish you can see that everything's shared here and you can also sort it out you can group let's say by light value or you can filter you can write in let's say background and you will see everything that contains this work so it's pretty useful for anyone that has an internet connection and wants to see what we're doing and the same for components you know the view that i shared before it's also visible here and you can decide what you actually want to share i think we're done for today and next time i will show you how we can do some github actions to check in automatic way what's going on with our github repo so stay tuned bye